Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Young Thug and YSL. Now, YSL's name has been dragged through the mud lately, you know? For most of us, we always looked at YSL as a rap label, as, you know, a collective of artists, as a whole bunch of people getting together and making music and trying to do good in the rap game. And they've been fairly successful. Now, let's be real. They've been super successful when you factor in Young Thug's career, Gunna's career, and a lot of the other artists within the label, right? Well-known names because of their association with Young Thug. Well, it seems like the DA in Atlanta is not a fan. The prosecutors there have gone to the media and made some, made some claims that basically YSL was involved in a majority of the shootings or a lot of the shootings that took place in Atlanta between the years of 2015 and the present day, man. And they even went on record to say that they believe that YSL was involved in over 50 homicides. That's crazy, man. Now, there's been times in the past where YSL has been going back and forth, or I should say just Young Thug has been going back and forth with other artists like YFN Lucci, but we've come to realize that some of those interactions that we used to gloss over might have been more serious than we had expected, you know, based on what the prosecutors are saying in this RICO indictment. Now, before we break down this story where they talk about these 50 murders that YSL was supposedly involved in or allegedly involved in, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this news story from uprocks.com where they talk about this in the headline. They say this. It says, Young Thug and YSL are being blamed by prosecutors for over 50 gang-related murders. Now, let's stop right there. 50 gang-related murders? That's that's not shootings. That's murders, man. That's wild. That's like, to even think that'd be possible. But according to them, they think that YSL was that active in the street that they took part in 50 gang-related murders. And the DA, I guess that's what they running with, you know what I mean? In this RICO indictment as well. Now, the story starts off by saying this. It was just a little over a week ago that the music world was shocked by the news of RICO charges against Young Thug, Gunna, and 26 other members of the former's YSL Rap Collective. Now, they're talking about basically, you know, it was all good just a week ago, you know what I mean? Or at least before that. Last week is when the news came down that we found out the RICO indictment was in intact and that, you know, they were coming after Young Thug and Gunner. You know, they had the whole raid and all that, right? Now, the RICO case levied a total of 56 charges against the members, which included conspiring to violate the Racketeer, Influence, and Corrupt Organizations Act, murder, armed robbery, and participation in criminal street gang activity. Now, I got to be real about this. And I have looked at all the lawyers talking about this. I even saw the local news story there in Atlanta. And a lot of people are running with the narrative that Gunner, you know, specifically, is being overcharged in this situation. Now, Young Thug, he's looking at some charges afterwards, you know, for the raid or whatever. So he's got to kind of reverse this whole thing, like, to, you know, he's got to clear his name and then be able to clear himself for what was found allegedly at his residence. But as it pertains to Gunna and some of the other people in the indictment, even if you look at the indictment itself, they're being associated with this case because of some posts that they made on social media, things of that nature. You know, nothing really criminal related, except for in Gunna's case, they got the 2017 case that got wrapped in this and there were some criminal, uh, you know, some charges against him in that as well. But let's continue. Now, it also says that Thug himself was hit with seven more felony charges after a search warrant was executed at his Georgia home. More details about YSL's alleged crimes have arrived since their arrest, including a recent accusation from Georgia prosecutors. So, like I said with this, this is the story that keeps on building, man. Like, more charges and more charges, more things are brought to light as the story starts to progress and as people are getting locked up, you know what I mean? Right now, you've got both of them trying to get out. And when I say both, I'm talking about Gunner and Young Thug. And then we can also say three, YF and Lucci is trying to get out on Bond. But it looks like even with those situations, we're starting to find out more details, you know, about the stabbings and all that other stuff, or alleged stabbings, we should say. Now, the story continues by saying, according to Complex, following an emergency motion filed by YF and Lucci, who was allegedly in quotes, stabbed with a shank repeatedly inside the Fulton County Jail by a YSL member 
Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis shared more details about YSL's alleged crime. Now, just this week, there was talk about the stabbings. Now, there was, when the indictment dropped, everybody found out about the alleged second attempt. And, you know, just yesterday or the day before that, you had YFN Lucci, you know, his whole team, they filed this emergency motion in order to try to get him bond because obviously he's surrounded by a whole bunch of people that he feels put his life at danger. You know what I mean? Now, in quotes, it goes on to say this. It says, and what myself and any law enforcement member can tell you as a result of this is the back and forth gun violence and murders that have occurred have probably been in excess of 50 since 2015. Triggered by the that in back and forth between the YSL gang and other gangs. So basically saying, let me decode this, that since 2015, the back and forth of gun violence between YSL and other gangs that they mentioned, they didn't say YFN specifically, you know what I mean? They just said other gangs, has been in excess of 50 as far as murders from that gun violence, man, since 2015. That's wild, man. That's wild. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, any gang, I, I doubt, you know, you could put 50, you know, bodies on them. That's, that's a lot. That's wild, man. Now, can they prove that is what I'm wondering, but I'm... I'm guessing since this DA has been so, you know, serious about going after these cats that if she wouldn't say that unless she had her ducks in a row. Now, it continues by saying this. Willis was speaking about the 2015 murder of Donovan Thomas, which she said was, in quotes, extremely significant in connecting YSL to other alleged crimes that are listed in the case. Now, let's not forget Donovan Thomas Jr., AKA Nut or AKA Big Nut is YFN Lucci's homeboy. He's actually the guy who got him hooked up with Think It's a Game and that way he was able to, you know, pursue his rap careers, man. So he played an integral part in YFN Lucci becoming a rap artist, getting them platinum plaques, doing his thing out here, man. And YFN Lucci dedicated a whole mixtape and one of my favorite songs of his, Heartless, to him. You know what I mean? But let's continue. Now it said in 2015, the incident. The 26-year-old YFN affiliate was murdered outside a barbershop, and Thug is accused of renting the Infinity Q50 sedan used in the crime. Now, I find it hard to believe that young Thug, even in 2015, he was a star already, remember that, he was already a star in 2015, would use his own name to rent a car for somebody to go commit a drive-by because they said in the news story that it was a drive-by shooting. And that would just be like, why would you do that? Like, put your name all over the case and all up in this. But let's finish the story out. So it goes on to say that YFN Lucci's team filed the emergency motion on the basis of him being a victim in the YSL case. Lucci's legal team is reportedly asking that the rapper be released on, in quotes, reasonable conditions and an emergency bond hearing. According to Complex, they add that, in quotes, despite being a named victim in a sprawling and high-profile criminal case, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office, nor any victim's advocate from their office, has reached out to Mr. Ray Sean Bennett or his counsel. So they're saying that YFN Lucci is basically trying to get bonded out because he felt like in this situation, or his legal team feels like in this situation, he's already listed as a victim in the YSL RICO case, and that should be reason enough for him to get an emergency bond hearing, you know, and be approved for bond if they really cared about his safety. Now, they might be making a good case there, but with all this, man, has come a lot of scrutiny of YFN Lucci and how he's handling these cases, and we'll talk about that in another video, but man, what do you guys think about this situation, man? Do you think that it's possible that YSL was really in the streets like that, like 50 bodies, you know what I mean? Or do you feel like, man, they might be just blowing the numbers up and inflating the numbers to help the case out, you know, or even to sway public opinion in the case. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.